Hello, this is a warning. If you don't know Marianne, please pause the video before watching it. In three, two, one. Hello everyone, today I am here to do a quick review and to give you my thought on Sunbasket. Sunbasket is also a service that sends you a package every week with all the ingredients for your meal. And so you choose between a bunch of options, you choose meals that you want to cook and yeah they send it to you once a week so for myself and for my husband I choose uh, two meals a week for two people so as I told you in my last video about HelloFresh I told you that I really like those kind of services because it helps you learn how to cook it also save you time money and also you don't waste anything any food or any money or any time whatever and also it gives you ideas about what to eat and so so it's way less struggle when you try to decide what to eat um on a daily basis so i'm gonna show you um what you get with the package uh, of sun basket every week you um they send you a package and they send you also a book with all their recipes so as you can see you know there's a bunch of recipes now the only thing that i really don't like about this book is because you cannot reuse this book meaning i mean you can if you really want you can because okay i have to explain to you on the list of ingredient if you can see there's no proportion meaning they don't say to you how much you're gonna use it so basically you have to use what is inside the box and also they almost every time they give you the proportion but into the instruction of the recipe so for example for this one the char soup pork with quick pickle that we cooked uh, last week it was terrible it was it was not good but I'm gonna talk about that in a little bit um, so this is the these are the instruction okay and so sometimes they, they tell you how much you have to the proportion of the ingredient for example for the garlic they give you the garlic and they say measure one teaspoon but they they say it in this big text but it would be so much easier to have a list you know just like HelloFresh for example they give you a list and it's so much easy to see and when you start to learn cooking and when I think it's very important when you start cooking even though when you know already how to cook I think it's very important to have a clear list of the proportion and the ingredient what do you need in this recipe I think the book has to be a little bit changed to be honest I don't really like this kind of what is it format I think the HelloFresh one is so much better you don't need all that all that you don't need all that you just need what you choose so basically you choose two meals a week and so I, I didn't I didn't want to have all that I just want to have clear recipe clear instruction to cook two meals and that is it i'm i'm very i will be very satisfied with just that um i think it would be better if they send us just just like hello fresh but that's my opinion and let me know if you have um other thoughts about it i think it's a little bit confusing and even like even just other stuff i think it's very confusing the instructions are confusing the vocabulary also is a little bit confusing i am okay but sometimes you know my english is not that great and sometimes i don't know the the terms and i'm french so i know all the terms in culinary culinary stuff you know i know all the stuff but sometimes i don't know sometimes they they form their sentences not that 
clear and easy to understand. I don't know if you understand me, but that's my feeling about this book. And also this book is made of a very thin paper. And what happens is uh, when it's in the package with the, you know, the ice package, sometimes the ice package is like very moist. So that happened. See the, the, that happened and then this happened and then, and then, you know, it's not even a book anymore. And this is the last week one. So it's, it's been just two weeks that I have it and it's already broken like this. So I would prefer the format that HelloFresh has. If you're very curious about HelloFresh, you can go to my other video. I talk more about their uh, format. For Sun Basket, how much did I pay for Sun Basket? I don't remember. I will put it here. Um, I think I got one coupon. So I did have discount for my first month. It was very much more expensive than HelloFresh because the ingredient for sun baskets are, I will say, more, uh, much more good quality, meaning um, they use all, I think almost all organic ingredients. They have grass-fed meats and they have very, very good stuff. They have also a bunch of options for um, vegetarians and I think they have also like keto, and vegan stuff so i'm not sure about that but i will put some information here but they have much more option than hellofresh for example but for me i eat everything so for me it doesn't really matter it does cost more because of the fact that it's organic and they have more options and also when you choose your meal sometimes you have the option to um like try another meat and or, or upgrade to another meat and then they give you and then it's it's all options and it's all like add-on so be careful because the price is very going up 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 very quickly and i happened to pay for one week 55 dollars something like that um and if you choose some more expensive option you can pay much more than that. You know, I'm a more like a traditional type of person. I love my modern food. I love my fusion food too. But um, I think fusion food is very hard to make and to make it good is hard. Meaning that you have to know both sides. For example, I know a lot of Korean food because my husband is Korean and because I lived in Korea for a while um, and I'm French. So I know both of those two culture and I think I could do a fusion between the two, but sometimes, um, sometimes I feel like uh, Sun Basket, they give you very weird, in a good way, but weird options. For example, um, that this um, thing, that is um, pork with a pickle. It is kind of like American Chinese because it has uh, some Chinese pepper and like Sichuan um, spices. And I really, I didn't really like it. I think it was kind of, the, the recipe kind of was not very well made. And I feel like all the recipes are maybe less well um, studied like when they try to you know create new recipes i don't know for me i feel like sun basket have a little bit too much option and a little bit too much funky funky recipe and funky fusion meals i would like a little bit more you know plain i like my stuff clean plain um that's why i like french uh cuisine because i'm french and i love japanese cuisine also because it's very clean and the ingredients are you can taste the ingredient stuff and i feel like in sun basket there is a lot of um a lot of fusion i was very disappointed um for 
the taste of it and to be honest um, during one month I think like most of the time I was very disappointed and I think just one time I was like oh that's good um, and it was like something pretty plain like I think it was pasta or something like that but other than that everything was like kind of disappointing or like ah uh, it was not it was not great it was not a good experience and also um, I had two time I had problem the second week that I received the sun basket one item was missing in my package so I complained on Instagram and they sent me a three dollar coupon yeah I just wanted to receive what I pay for uh, but anyway they did that and then the second the third week they also mistake um, number two is they also send me something else um, they send me a, a onion but I didn't need an onion and um, something was missing in it and I was like very disappointed because you know I really wanted to like the service I really wanted to like Sun Basket since it it is very good quality it is very high quality so I wanted to l like it and because it was the second time that they missed again an ingredient I sent them an email and also I complain on Instagram which I always do you know I always if there's something I always say it on Instagram and then I send them an email but they didn't reply they just ignore me so I don't know if they thought you know because they send me once a three dollar coupon that it's okay to just not respond to me but anyway I felt like they had kind of kind of okay slash bad um, customer service I was very disappointed I just I, overall um, everything was very disappointing um, the ingredients were missing the taste was like kind of not good in like the the books with the recipes in it was very confusing and very hard to read and, and understand and all that stuff so yeah I cancelled my subscription and I don't think I'm gonna do it again um, unless you know I have like a huge coupon or something but um, Sun Basket they don't have a lot of coupons um, HelloFresh on the other end have a bunch of coupons like here and there everywhere on the internet you can find so much coupon um, you can also find my coupon down below um, because I'm gonna continue HelloFresh for Sun Basket I'm sorry and I'm very sad to say that I am cancelling my subscription and I mean if you are vegan or if you have like a special diet maybe Sun Basket is better for you but they missed ingredient it's expensive and it was not tasty so for me it's a good buy and I really want it I really tried and you know sometimes you try too hard and it's not good so that is my experience with Sun Basket if you guys have different opinions or experience different thoughts about Sun Basket and that is it for me for today I will see you in my next video